Hey everyone, I'm Duarte here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the video scheduler internal error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run an SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the command prompt window, just make sure to type the following command and then press enter after this command. Note that the scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose any patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to update the video drivers. To do this, right-click on the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the display adapters by double-clicking on it, and afterwards, just right-click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. In here, just make sure to click on Search automatically for drivers, and Windows will try to find the best drivers for your PC. Now you can restart your computer and check if the issue is solved. Another useful solution is to reinstall the video card drivers. To do this, right-click on the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here, make sure to expand the display adapters by double-clicking on it, then afterwards right-click the problematic device and select Uninstall Device. In here, make sure to tick the box next to Attempt to remove the driver for this device and lastly confirm by pressing on the Uninstall button. Now you can restart your PC and afterwards you'll see that Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers for you. You can then check if the issue still persists. You can also uninstall the latest installed hardware or software. To do this, press on the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane, and then on the right side click on apps and features. Make sure to locate the most recent program installed on your PC, then click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. After uninstalling the software, just restart your PC, and then you can check if the issue still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update your Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane, and lastly, on the right side, click on the blue Check for Updates button. Now Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC and install them automatically. Lastly, restart your computer, and then you can check if the issue still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.